Welcome to the Hollywood Scholar, I'm Jed Morgan, and I've been more skeptical than most when it comes to Zaslav's takeover of DC and Warner Brothers. I just don't generally trust anyone in the entertainment industry these days and wanted to withhold judgment until we got some concrete evidence that he was definitely beneficial to the future of DC. Now, canceling Batgirl and a bunch of those other projects definitely were in the right direction for me, and the recent hiring of James Gunn as a co-CEO of DC Studios is actually another one. I am a big fan of James Gunn, a lot of the things he's done the Suicide Squad was fantastic, both Guardians movies I love. I'm not particularly looking forward to Guardians 3 because it exists in Marvel's Phase 4, Phase 5. Don't really know if it can be good in that sort of environment, but overall James Gunn has done some incredible stuff and I want to give him the benefit of the doubt. And he recently came out on Twitter in an interaction with fans that really just shows why Marvel, Star Wars, and all these other franchises are so misunderstanding of what it means to be a fan and how to interact with them. James Gunn has this incredible interaction with fans just being basically polite. And it is such a strange thing to see that I have to give James Gunn praise and it kind of gives me hope for the future of DC more than I was previously willing myself to have. But we've got this thread here from Twitter from James Gunn and I really like a lot of this even though I don't particularly want more Legends of Tomorrow. I really liked the first three seasons, but that was it. I still can really respect his approach to the situation, but he starts off saying, opened up Twitter at the end of a very long creative weekend to see the many tweets to save Legends of Tomorrow and release the air cut and fan support for other DC projects over the years. The majority of these requests were enthusiastic and respectful. See, that's how you do it. It's not like the release the Snyder Cut when DC and a bunch of people involved were like, oh, they're just, you know, racist, misogynist, sexist, doing all the customary labels, attacking them as toxic fans for wanting the Snyder Cut. He's just saying, hey, these guys really care about this stuff. That's great. And you guys were all enthusiastic and respectful. That's amazing. I love seeing that. It's so simple. This reminds me of Henry Cavill's approach when he was trying to get tricked into saying that fans were toxic. His response of, your fans have the right to have any opinion that they want, is such a great response, and this reminds me a lot of it. But the thread continues. As the new and first ever CEO of DC Studios, Peter and I think it's important we acknowledge you, the fans, and let you know we hear your different desires for the pathways forward for DC. He acknowledged, it's so strange. This should be the default in Hollywood. This should be the thing that people go to first is being very polite and say, hey, I see where you're coming from. I acknowledge you guys' different opinions and we're gonna try to do our best. It's so simple. It's so foreign in Hollywood. Like 10, 15 years ago, this wouldn't have even made a blimp in my radar. But nowadays when it's the default to attack the fans, to call them all the heinous names in the book, this stands out and really is a statement of James Gunn's mental state and how he might be the perfect person for this job because he is a creative and he knows how to interact with fans without going to attack first. This is this is amazing, honestly, in my opinion, because of how strange it is in the current landscape of Hollywood. Although our ability to interact on Twitter has been lessened due to the workload of our new positions, totally fine, just coming out and saying, hey, I'm really busy, but I'm gonna do my best, not a problem. We are listening and open to everything as we embark on this journey, and we will continue to do so in the next few years. He, he kind of covers his ass a little bit there, saying, hey, I'm gonna do my best, but I'm really busy, so don't expect too much, but I will be always listening to you guys over the next few years. It's still like a very good balance of, hey, you know, guys, we're listening to you. I, I really respect what you guys are saying. You guys are doing it in a really great way. I'm just really busy. It's a lot of great stuff there. He doesn't attack the fans and say, I'm super busy. I don't have time for stupid fans. That's something that we would see out of Marvel, Lucasfilm, or the BBC in current day. It's just so simple. Be polite and fans will respect you. Even if you give them bad products, as long as you're polite and a good person and interact with them in a positive way. Fans can forgive you for giving us bad products occasionally. But he hasn't done that so far, so he's got the benefit of great projects and a great interactions with fans. It's off to a very good start at DC, in my opinion. But of all our initial focus in our story going forward, hammering out the new DCU and telling the biggest story ever told across multiple films, television shows, and animated projects... And that's great. He's getting people excited about the future, saying, hey, we are focusing on the story moving forward instead of sticking with the past, but we will consider all these different requests. We respect your guys' opinion. It's just we're, we're trying to make something big and amazing for you guys going forward, and we hope you love that. Not a problem. Even if he had come out and said, we're not really looking into releasing the air cut or continuing Legends of Tomorrow because we're trying to make something big and bold for the future, but acknowledging the fans' desire for it, 
still wouldn't have been a problem, but he's saying it's still on the table. He's just focusing on the future for the most part. Nothing wrong with that statement. We invite all the DC fandoms from across the multiverse and everywhere else into this new universe. We can't wait to reveal more. It's so, so very simple and so well put that I, I can't, I can't fault him for any of this. I'm more excited for the DC now more than ever because he is a creative who is interacting with fans in a positive light. That is a notch in the favor of DC more than anything else these days. And so I'm I'm excited for the DC going forward. James Gunn is a great creative and I look forward to what he brings to us and looks forward to more interactions like this with the fans. But anyway, that's all I have for today. I'd love to hear your thoughts in the comments below. Please like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video. Anon. If you like what I do here and want to see good, compelling stories that Hollywood will no longer give you, check out my book series, Odyssey of a Phoenix, a mythological epic about philosophy, morality, and modern day mental illness issues. Books one, Down in Flames, and book two, Apocalypse Then, currently on sale. Book three, Kill the Dark, coming soon.